hey, one more day in the world of crypto and other investments, investment opportunities. What are we doing right now? Well, what do we go? What do we look? What's good? What's not good? You know, we talked a little bit about that earlier in the week, a little bit with Helium. Is Helium still a good project? You know, what are we doing? I see YouTubers out there this week talking about Cadena and some others to be mining right now with ASIC miners. Okay, I don't think those are bad, but I think there's something that we're overlooking that's maintaining its price value. It hasn't dropped with everything else right now and is a competition to Helium. Let's talk about that right now. I'm gonna keep this video brief, I promise you. We're still up in the mountains working on our project, trying to sell it. Things change now with the real estate market. That's, that's a given. We're already starting to see more inventory come out and even in our area, not a whole lot yet, but we're seeing probably a double amount of inventory over the last three weeks come out in real estate. So it's gonna be a little bit tough for us to sell at the price point we wanna sell at. And yet where we wanna to go to build our crypto money farm and to buy acreage, we're looking at buying 100 acres, as well as diversifying a little bit in grapes and some other things. And well, that's all being gobbled up. Just sight unseen. I see stuff come up, like, okay, good, I'm gonna get, I only get back to them in a couple of days because I was up there without internet until yesterday. Now I can start getting more videos out, stay on top of things as well, keep educating myself to share with you. Hey, briefly, what I was, what I was looking at this morning, and I kind of want to make a quick video on this, and, and people are overlooking it. We're talking about, and I'm glad to see like Voscoin coming out finally and being real about Helium um, and saying, hey, look, Helium is not paying us. You know, they're making money still. But they're not paying us, the community. <laughs> I already mentioned that Planet Watch got away with it, and because they got away with it, and and you guys didn't help us. I'm not specifically saying you guys are watching the video, but some of you did have the opportunity to come on board with us, and we were going to do something about it. We were going to show that the community has strength. Well, Planet Watch can get away with it, and Helium thinks they can get away with it too, possibly. It looks that way because they're not going without being paid. They're a third party, their clients are paying them, but they're not paying us to provide the network and we still keep providing the network. That's laziness and lack of responsibility on our part. I'm not here to scold, but I'm just saying it's the truth. And I'm glad to see Boss Point actually mention that today. Here, what am I hearing out there? Okay, Cadena. Well, we knew Cadena a long time out was was a was a was a blockchain that was to in in, in, in summary was to help offset inflation, right? We thought Bitcoin was too. I didn't buy any Cadena miners because I thought they went really fast, they were overpriced. At the time I was dumping into helium. Now I go back and think I wish I picked a couple of those up because I thought that, well, maybe they'll work. But then I thought, well, we'll just stay with Bitcoin. I think I made a mistake there. They're very expensive to get into now. But what is still providing all this time and its token has maintained at a fairly level price. We're about $0.08 cents today, give or take. That's MXC. We've talked about it before. MXC is Helium's competition. If Helium doesn't get around the ball and MXC continues to pay, we're still making over, over about $300 a month right now with MXC if for our miners that are at 100%. We have others that are making half of that because we took the money out, we're at 50% now, we climbed from 40% to 50%. But MXC is basically Helium's rival. Now, there's not as many out there yet, we're a little over 800,000 hotspots for Helium, but MXC is kind of stepping in to take do the same role, more or less. MXC costs a miner, they're in stock today, you can get it in a few weeks, I'm gonna buy another one here next month, maybe even two more. And what I like about MXC and what's their strength is that they actually, and I don't like it about it because, you know, in crypto, we should be banking it, but anyway, we tried to do something that was going to show, hey, you can run a crypto business now, we're too early for that. So we're going back to more traditional investing, um, as well as, you know, jobs we're doing, remodels, buying and selling real estate, fixer uppers, buying land in, in future growth areas, kind of go subdivide those and sell those, as well as putting money back in, but leaving our crypto and our crypto mining farm, our GPUs, we're getting solar hooked up this next month. We hope finally the county was coming down on us and it would not hook up all 86 panels. Finally got approval, got a way to get it done. So these will shut down next week. 
until our solar panels are up. Because right now we are in the negative on our GPUs. But our solar panels will be in a profit margin again. Not a lot, but we'll be in a profit margin. And those are just going to just accumulate now. And they're going to roll over into Bitcoin. We're still holding Bitcoin. And we're going to hold in another token. That's the SC Prime. I think SC Prime has a lot of potential for a future growth down the road. So we're going to start buying up SC Prime while it's cheap. Um, the uh, so the SC token I'm, I'm looking at buying, but MXC right now we're still about eight cents, and we're pretty much maintained. Now we got a little higher, but when we hit our low, when everyone hit lows, we hit a low like we were at just about three months ago, three four months ago. So we're still climbing. MXC is. And if helium continues to play games, I think MXC, you're going to see a shift to more MXC. I am not going to buy more helium miners until helium does what they say they're going to do. We're out on Planet Watch, and I don't trust Planet Watch anymore, so I won't go in bed with Planet Watch anymore. We have a few things left of theirs. Helium, I'm not going to buy anymore. We had set aside uh, $30,000 for that. We're not going to do that. I'm actually going to put that money into bot trading, day trading, MXC miners, and SC Prime, building that SC Prime network where I can go out there and find clients also to come onto the network and I get paid double on the C-Prime. So I have more control over that, like you do with Helium as well. You do a lot with Helium too and take control in areas where it's saturated. But down in South America, it's not saturated yet. It doesn't pay us to be who is saturated. MXC, on the contrary, does. We're still making, I mean, if you if you look at what you're paying, you're, you're making 10% a month right now on your returns. That's where it's at today. If the token goes up, you're making more than that. You're making 120% a year on your investment. There's nothing out there right now that even compares to MXC. So I think, I don't know why, I'm seeing other guys out there, the guy with the kind of funny hairdo and stuff like that. I'm not bagging, just explaining who they are, talking about Canana and others, and they're kind of missing the fact that MXC is still producing and it hasn't slowed down. It's come down a little bit, but it's still producing at 300, 310, 303 dollars, maybe 290 on a bad month. A month for helium, we're lucky we're making a dollar a day right now in helium, maybe thirty dollars a month. MXC to me right now, and, 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 and I see a window opening for them. I think for us, we're going to buy more of those miners. Uh, we'll pick up a couple more, maybe two more, going into the next three or four weeks, and I'm going to hook those up, and I'm just going to let them set. Right now, the time is to buy crypto and let it set. We're in a bear market. We're definitely in a bear market now. Let it set. Let it grow. We have a future for crypto. We're early. The WEF announced this week, the question was asked, will there be a world digital currency that is used in some manner or fashion in the world by certain amount of people or all peoples? The answer from the committee, the, 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 the panel, was yes. In three to five years. Now, they did say there's a strong bottom out there, though, that we have to get out of the culture that we depend on, in other words, the dollar, that we have to eliminate is to push aside for this currency to take place as a global currency by the World Bank, sponsored by the World Economic Forum in Davos. This week, they are announcing what their agenda is, and they're not hiding it. MXC, it kind of fits their agenda, too, fortunately. So does Helium. Unfortunately, so is Ethereum. Unfortunately, so long term in MXC, I don't know about. The short term, right now, for the next year, two years, I'm going to go with MXC. If I see them start to go inside with World Economic Forum, I'll take out my tokens, turn them into Bitcoin, and support the free market economy. So, if you might want to look at MXC, I'll put the link down below. We actually have an affiliate link. I'm not saying it because we have an affiliate link. Just saying, do your homework. Show me what else out there making 120% right now when everything's down. MXC has almost gone unscathed. There's a few others out there. Cadena C is doing well. If you want to get a Cadena Miner, but what are you going to pay for Cadena Miner? Five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000? It's going to have what? A five year ROI on it? Think about that. You have a one year ROI with an MXC Miner. So, something to consider. DeFi IoT, if you like these little points of interest, I'm not going to be out there pumping everything that's coming out right now. There's a lot coming out. I'm not going to go out and pump those anymore. We're going to sit back. We're going to analyze better. So, we're going to give you more detailed analytic reports here on what we're doing, what we're experimenting with, and where we're going. Talking more to the heads, not that they're paying us to promote, but we don't really think that in these markets, they can survive. Hit the subscribe button, please. Give us a thumbs up. We'll talk to you soon. Now that we got internet in our project.
We hope you enjoyed this segment of our video with DeFi IoT. Remember, we're not professional advisors. We do this as a business, as a hobby, and we study, we experiment, and we want to share it with you. If you can get some benefit from this, great. What we do is we go out, we purchase with our own money, and we experiment to see what true results are. We want you to be able to share in our experiences so you don't have to lose like we have. If you can win where we've won, fantastic. Remember to do your own research and your own homework. It's very important before you make any decisions. We will see you in our next video.